Hello everyone, and this is Rupal Gurait again, and I welcome you for the practical part of this uh, nickel DMG in organic preparation. I have already explained to you in the first part about the theoretical approach towards this particular experiment. So now you can see over here the ambience is very clear, it's a laboratory. So when we are actually going to demonstrate the various steps which I have explained to you in my part 1 video. So we go step by step. In the first step, as I said, we are going to take nickel sulfate, the supply quantity of nickel sulfate in a beaker. So transfer this into a beaker. The transfer quantity with the help of a glass rod, we are going to make sure that entire quantity goes into this because it's the weight of the final product which is more important because as I already told you in my part 1 video that this experiment the final result is based on what the percentage yield. So the yield of the product depends upon the weight of nickel sulfate. Alright? So in this way we have transferred the entire given quantity of nickel sulfate. Now into this we are going to add around 1 gram of the sodium salt of DMG. So we are going to mix that. And now what are we going to do is, we are going to dissolve this, okay, in distilled water. So here we go. You can see the coloration which is being obtained. The scarlet red PPD that I was talking about. We will add some more quantity of water into this. Now for the stabilization of this PPT, one of the most important factor which needs to be taken into consideration and that is the pH. So for that purpose, we are going to use 1 is to 1 ammonium hydroxide. Alright, so we are going to add into this 1 is to 1 ammonium hydroxide till there is going to be a distinct smell of ammonia. So we just need to check it out. We need to add still more. Yes, now we are getting it, a distinct smell of ammonia. So this ensures the stability of the PPT of nickel DMG. So this is what we get, alright. Now the next process is, we are proceeding for a process of digestion on a boiling water bath. So here we have the boiling water bath with a pipe plate triangle inside that so that it will hold the beaker firmly and also we will be using a normal filter paper so as to ensure that no impurities can penetrate inside the beaker. Alright, and this process of heating has to be carried out for 30 minutes. So my dear friends, uh, we can see that 30 minutes are being done of the digestion process. So we'll just uh, put off the burner and very slowly we will hold the beaker and put it on the as well as our sheet. Okay, this is what we get after the process of digestion. Now, once the digestion process is done, let us allow it to cool on the as well as our sheet for some time 
and then we will proceed towards the process of filtration by making use of what may filter paper one. Now this is sufficiently cool, so we will remove the ordinary filter paper. This is by difference the what may paper number one. Put the button for that. Okay, we are going to filter it. Now very slowly, we are going to start the process of filtration. Now we need to give the washings with water. We need to make sure that the each and every particle of the nickel BMG gets transferred. So we need to make sure that the beaker is absolutely clean now. Because as I already mentioned that this is a quantitative experiment, hence the weight is a very important rule. Okay, now you can check it out, it's absolutely clear. So the entire particle is being transferred into this workman paper. So my dear friends, you can see the, the filtration process is being done. Okay, so now very slowly we are going to we'll just put off the vacuum and now very slowly we are going to lift this. and put it on the watch glass. There we go.
and this is nickel DMG and now we will proceed for the drying process in the electric oven the temperature of which has to be around 110 degrees Celsius and we will carry out that process for an approximately 40 to 45 minutes. So my dear friends we now proceed for the final step and that is drying in an electric oven as you can see over here the temperature that we require over here is somewhere around 110, 115 degrees Celsius because basically what are we doing over here is that whatever water molecules are there because it's a drying process so we are trying to drive away the water molecules so as a result of which what we are going to do is sir so here the temperature you can note it's going to be 113 it's okay now this is what we got okay from the filtration so very slowly we will open the door of the oven put it inside and we close this. Alright? And this process has to be carried out for approximately around 45 minutes. Yes, now, so I guess uh, 45 minutes have been done. You can check it out over here. That was the drying step which we have to carry out to drive away the water molecules. So let us check it now whether a molecule is being uh, dried or not. Yes, you can see, check it out now. It's completely dried. You can see this in a powder form. So now, after this, we will proceed it for the weighing purpose, which is a very important step of this particular experiment. So my dear friends, as I said, we go for the weighing process. Now the weighing is to be carried out. First of all, what we do is, we take the weight of the empty wash glass. All right. It's going to be 32.350. But my dear friends, we are not interested in the weight of the crucible, uh, sorry, the wash glass. We are interested in the weight of nickel DMG. So how we are going to do it is, what we do is we are going to press the button J. So you can see it becomes 0, 0. And now we are going to remove this and we are going to make sure that the entire amount of this dried product of nickel DMG is being transferred on this particular watch glass. So the entire amount is being transferred over here. And now, we are going to once again put this. Okay, and you can see the weight is 0 0.520. Now, my dear friends, we proceed to the final part of this experiment. And that is about the calculations. So, in the calculations, we first of all start with the reaction. Because we want to go for a theoretical E. So, reaction. How the reaction process? We are going to take nickel sulfate, that is NiSO4. This is being treated with the sodium salt of DMG. So, the formula is NaC4H7N2O2. Okay, this is sodium salt of DMG. Now, when the reaction takes place, we get a precipitate and the formula of the precipitate is nickel DNG twice because it is 1 is to 2. I hope you know this very well. So accordingly we will be having C4H7N2O2 twice. Okay? And as I told you my friends, the sodium bar is now going to go with the anion because nickel over here is in the plus 2 state. Okay, so SO4 is minus 2, so this is going to combine with what? Sodium. So you get a side product, and that side product is going to be Na2SO4 sodium sulfate. So this is what we require nickel DMG twice. Okay, now we're going to, once the reaction is clear, we're now going to the stoichiometric proportion. My dear friends, we are doing all these calculations to find out the theoretical yield. Alright, so here in nickel sulfate, 
there are also seven water molecules coordinated with it. So as a result of which, 280.71 is the molar mass along with seven water molecules. So 280.71 grams of metal sulfate seven H2 is corresponding to 288.71 grams of nickel DMG twice. Okay, this is the molar mass. 288.71 is the molar mass of nickel DMG twice. Okay, nickel is 58.71, that is the atomic mass. Carbon, you know it is 12, nitrogen is 14. Oxygen is 16, hydrogen is 1. Okay, so accordingly we calculate the molar mass. Okay, now next question. How much is the quantity of nickel sulfate originally taken? If you remember, when I showed you the experiment, I told you a given quantity of nickel sulfate. Okay, was being combined with 1 gram of sodium salt of DMG. So how much was that quantity? So now I'll disclose that quantity. That quantity is 0.6 grams. So 280.71 grams of nickel sulfate 7H2 corresponds to 288.71 grams of nickel DMG twice. So therefore 0.6 grams of nickel sulfate 7H2 will correspond to how much? Okay, so what are we doing now is 288.71 multiplied by 0.6 divided by 280.71. This is what we are going to do. Okay, let's get it be 288.71 into 0.6 divided by 280.71. Okay, so that is going to give you 0 0.61. 6a. So this, my dear friends, becomes the theoretical E. The answer B, I will already show you my dear friends. How much it is? 0 0.520. So, percentage E, I will once again give you the formula. Percentage E is the observed E, or we call it as an actual E, divided by the theoretical yield multiplied by 100. Okay? So observed yield was 0 0.520 divided by the theoretical yield which we got as 0 0.6168 and you multiply by 100. Alright? So what we get is on the calculation of this is once you do the calculation you come to know as it is 84.30. Okay. So this is final things, the final result. This was the purpose of finding out this particular experiment, the result of this experiment. If you remember, I told you in the beginning only of this particular experiment that the aim of the experiment is to find out the percentage yield of nickel DMG complex. So it is how much? 84.30 is the percentage yield. Right? And this is what, my dear friends, is going to be the final part of this experiment. I'm sure you have understood this experiment, you have enjoyed this experiment because chemistry is all about enjoyment, my dear friends. As I enjoy all right, you uh, in, in the sense presenting the entire experiment to us. Same thing, the enjoyment I require from you guys as well. Okay, so I think you have understood this entire part. Now, here, one more important thing is because here we have already mentioned this percentage. So, here only you need to write down the value. Okay, it doesn't say percentage is equal to 84.30%. No, percentage is this. Okay, that is with the way you need to represent your results. All right, so that's it then. So please keep enjoying the chemistry practicals, they are lovely practicals and also please keep on watching my video. So thank you so very much. Bye bye.